Hi friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this tutorial, we will learn about some string methods in Python. So let's move to Geeks for Geeks ID to learn about them. First, let's discuss the len function. This function returns the length of the string. Let's look at an example. We declare a string a as Geeks for Geeks. To find the length, we print len and in parenthesis the name of string. Let's run this program. We can see that the output is 13. That is the length of the string. Next, let's discuss the count function. This function counts the occurrence of a substring in the entire string. Let's look at an example. Suppose we need to search for a substring is in the string. So we write count that is string in which we have to search dot count and in parenthesis we first write the substring to be searched then we write the starting index which is 0 by default and then the ending index which is equal to the length by default. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is 2. One is, is here and the other one is here. Let's discuss the alignment functions center, ljust and rjust. These functions are used to surround the string with the character repeated both sides on the right and on the left respectively. These functions takes two arguments. First, the length of the new string formed after applying the alignment. And second, the character with which we wish to align the string. Let's look at an example. Suppose we need to align string str equal to geeks for geeks to the center left and right with a substring hyphen. So we write str dot center and within round brackets the size and comma the character hyphen. This will make the string center aligned with hyphen character. We can do this for L just and R just too. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is center, left and right aligned of the string geeks for geeks. Now let's discuss three more functions is alpha, is alnum and is space. Is alpha returns true when all the characters in the string are alphabets else it returns false. Is alnum returns true if all the characters are either numbers or alphabets else returns false. Is space returns true if all the characters in the string are spaces. Let's look at this code. We have declared three strings. Now let's run all the three functions in all three strings. Let's run this program. We can see that first string returns true with is alpha and is alnum. It returns false with is space. The next string just returns true with is alnum as it contains both alphabets and numbers. The third string just contains spaces so returns true with is space. Let's look at another function join. This function is used to join a sequence of strings with another string. Suppose we need to join all the strings present in a list with an underscore. Let's look at this example. We have three strings in the list L and we need to join them with an underscore. So we declare underscore as string S and simply write S dot join and in parenthesis L. This will do the needful. Let's run this code. We can see that the output is 
all the elements joined within a underscore so in this tutorial we discussed the few functions of string we will continue our discussion on strings in the coming tutorials this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you for watching please leave us your likes and comments in the comment section